Hey guys, welcome back to your best lessons. In today's video, I'll be giving you three exercises that are very, very useful, especially in major or minor skills, okay? And this exercise is very useful in many ways, okay? So if you're interested, I recommend you watch the video to the end so that you understand every bit of it, okay? If you're also new to this YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and also share this video to your friends. I also do private class lessons. If you're interested, you see the link in the comment section below or in the description below. Click on the link, it will take you direct to my WhatsApp, okay? So guys, grab your base and let's begin with the tutorial. Okay, so as I said earlier, I'll be giving you three exercises that are very, very useful in our daily goals, okay? And the most important thing is when you are to do a warm-up exercise and stuff, you must be able to use them in a certain groove, maybe in the minor, in the major, or any type of skill, okay? So in this first exercise, I'll make sure that when we're done with the exercise, I'll try and apply them. And in the second exercise, I'll try and apply them in the major skill, okay? And the major skill, I'll be playing it in a very different way, okay? And in the third exercise, that is where you can apply both of the first and the second exercise in that major skill and form it as an exercise, okay? I hope you understand that. So let me show you the first one, okay? So the first one is what we all know as the intervals where you'll be playing on your first note, something like this let me play it on key g starting from your third fret that is one two three on your fourth string that is your g okay so your first finger plays then now you have to go to your fifth fret then now your second finger plays okay you see the intervals so i'll, I'll be jumping my fourth fret then now my little finger plays the seventh fret on that same E string. So you see, you see how my my fingers are open widely. You understand? So make sure that when you are playing something like this, don't close your fingers. Open them. You see? Okay. So now let me use the loop and show you how to use this exercise. Okay. You understand okay so it is very simple when you start using this but make sure that you maintain the notes and the intervals make sure you pluck the note very well so when you play the first three notes you understand then you move to the next key so now we are playing on key f f sharp g g sharp and your a B flat to your B, your C, C sharp, then you go up. You understand, okay? So make sure that when you reach on your high note, stable and focus on doing it. So, so when you ascend, try to descend. So maybe we'll be starting on our 12th fret, the same fingering. You understand so when you hit so when you hit the note so where you started from the note descend follow the pattern you understand okay so remember that when you have mastered the exercise on key on the e string you understand try to do it to all of the string okay Understand. Then to your second string, third string, fourth string, you're using the five bass string, six, then you can do it. Okay. So now let's look at the second exercise. It goes like this.
So your first finger plays, okay, and now your second finger plays the next note, okay, it's like, da, da. you understand, so you have your G and your G sharp, okay, then you move to your, uh, what do you call it, your B flat, okay, so, you see, so now the third finger isn't playing any notes, so now when you move, to, when you move forward, you're gonna change it you understand so now your third finger is now playing so you have your G sharp your um, B flat and your B you see the two different so you can do it in a simple pattern you can do it in just one area You understand okay when you've done just try doing it upwards okay you understand and, and try to do it to all the strings start from the higher string that is from the first string okay you understand okay so now let's look at how we can use the first exercise and second exercise on a simple major scale okay so we'll be playing on key f okay and i'll show you how i normally play my major scale on key f i don't do it do re mi fa so la ti do i'll show you this pattern you can use so now i'm going to use my first exercise on the do re mi that is your one two three only so you understand okay so da, da, da. i have used the exercise on the do re mi that is your one two three and now i'm going to use the second exercise on the mi fa so so you understand okay starting from my mi mi fa so so now I have used the second exercise where I'll be playing the two notes before I jump. So, da, da. you understand? Mi, fa, so, three, four, five. Okay. So you start. You understand? Okay. So now I'll be using the second exercise where you'll be using the other side of it. You understand? So instead of using this, so, so mi fa so la ti do. So now I am using the third and the fourth finger. But here I was using the first and the second finger. So now, so you see, you understand? Okay. So, so one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Then I'll continue one okay so now I'll continue with the second exercise that is two three four so now I am using the three and the four you understand okay so so now on my five six seven I am using my first exercise then back to my one you understand okay this is a very different way you can play the major scale you can also descend you see so when you've done with this, try and use it as an exercise. Do it to all the keys, starting from your F, F sharp, G. Okay, so. Then you descend. So now to the next key. You understand, okay? So just memorize and capture the, the pattern of, F, of, the, of the note. You understand? So that when you can be playing it, you can be playing it without looking at it. You 
you understand okay so now this is the third exercise you understand okay so you see how the first exercise and the second exercise are usable in the major scale that you can use as in a fill you understand okay it depends on where you start from you understand okay so just take time master the first exercise the second exercise and use it in this third major scale starting from your f okay apply it on the f major uh, scale you understand key a so do re mi one two three one two three three four five Six seven one two three four five six seven one. You understand, okay? Then try and descend to all of the keys, okay? So I think this is what I have for you for today's lesson. I'll be seeing you later in the next video. This same channel. Bye for now.